What is that? Hey, check this out. How much did you pay for this? This is amazing. <laughs> Seventy-five dollars. Let me introduce you to High Sierra. Okay, we're in. So now, in the previous video, you saw basically my rea my reaction to this 27-inch iMac from 2009. I didn't really get to use it. I just turned it on and just checked the specs, and then that was the end of the video. So what I decided to do was actually use it as my main computer for a day or two to see what I could do and not do. It had been on my bench out in the garage for... A while and I didn't really want to use it out there so I figured if I brought it inside and used it as my main computer then I could really dive in and see what's still possible with this nearly three thousand dollar computer uh, these days so we're in actually the boot time wasn't too bad even though there's a standard hard drive it was actually pretty good and a little bit about my experience with Macs I don't use Macs. I did uh, during COVID. I bought a MacBook Pro 2010 Core i5 to use for iPhone unlocking. If you look at my old, old videos, that's what I was doing during COVID. And I had to have a Mac. And I didn't like it at first, but I kind of got used to it. And then actually the, the MacBook Pro that I had ended up replacing my PC laptop for daily use for almost a year and then it just kind of got outdated but that one had an ssd and eight gigabytes of memory so it was pretty zippy it was running on high sierra and it was it was so simple there was no windows there was no pop-ups there was no drivers it was just you just open it use it close it open it again you're right back where you were and i kind of got used to that especially since it was pairing with the iphone so I've not really used El Capitan before, this one. And it's still not clear if this will run High Sierra. I'm going to try to use El Capitan first, see what we can do, because this is what most people would buy as a used old Mac, is the uh, 2009 Capitan. So what I'm going to do first, I think, is go ahead and make a new account with my information and I'm just going to leave this kind of generic account alone and then we'll go from there so we'll be right back so here's the boot time in real time Let's see how long it takes with a standard hard drive seven eight nine ten I think mine with the SSD was around 20 seconds total it would have been already over there. But uh, yeah, see, it, it's kind of not bad. So let's go to, uh, I made an account here called Robert Fix It. And let's go there. And we'll download some things. I'm kind of curious. I think that most people with an 09 Mac download Chrome because the Safari doesn't work as well anymore. And then we're going to try um, iMovie. I'm not sure which version you could put on here. So let's uh, we'll download those things and we'll be right back. Okay, Chrome's installed. Let's go ahead and launch it, see how long it takes to open. Maybe a little longer the first time. 
don't know if you can hear it, but there's a clear hard drive noise from the back. Chrome the default browser. Use Chrome. Okay. Also, the screen is so big. This is a 27 inch. I can't really get the whole screen in the video, so that's why you're only seeing part of it. But you're just seeing the part you need to see. So let's go to Chrome on YouTube. And when I had one of these old desktops before, this is all I could really do was use Chrome and YouTube. So let's try something. Some commercials. Mobile games are going big. Clash of Clans is now available. Hello everyone, this is your yearly dose of internet. Me and my car maybe is. Speakers are very loud. And let's try 1080p. It's pretty smooth. I forgot how to, oh. Okay, the closed window's on the left. It's, again, I'm more used to windows. So Chrome is good. So let's see what else we can do. YouTube's pass. And so it's not gonna let you install iMovie because of the OS version. There is a way to install it. I've done it before. I don't remember the links. But uh, you go to this site where they have all the iMovie versions and then you just pick the one that match matches your system. So you can run an iMovie, but not the latest. Yeah, so I was having trouble really doing anything as expected. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and attempt the High Sierra. Hopefully this works as is. Supposedly it supports it, I'm not sure. Uh, you cannot download High Sierra from the App Store, you have to go to the OS, Apple OS support page and search for High Sierra install. And I'm not exactly sure which page I you go through a few pages. And then it says, which version do you want to install? And then it takes you here. And so now you can download it. So we'll download it and see what happens. And for those of you that are not familiar, the El Capitan and older Macs had a different file system. This has the newer one and that's why more things will work with this. But sometimes you have trouble converting from one to the other. Hopefully this goes smoothly. If it doesn't and it crashes, then I'm gonna go ahead and just do the, the hacked version of High Sierra, but I'm thinking it might work because many people said it would work as is, but uh, I'm not sure. So let me download this and we'll be right back. So after a lengthy download and hitting the install, it, it is letting me install it. So I think that's good news. So we'll go ahead and hit install on the original hard drive. During the install, it actually turned off and made a weird beeping sound twice. So I'm not sure what that means. And then look at the loading screen, looks different here. So this is it installing now, I guess. And now it says 45 minutes remaining. So, all right, I guess we'll be back in a little bit. And we're in, here it is, Hi Sierra. Now this is what I'm used to, and I'm glad that it worked. It's funny because a 2009 MacBook won't run Hi Sierra, yet the desktop does. So that's cool. And also you could potentially put Catalina on here with the hacked version. When I did that with my laptop, I put Catalina on it. It ran really slow and I didn't like it. So I ended up just going back to High Sierra because there was no real benefit for me to get Catalina. Maybe on the desktop, 
you could, but yeah, this is fine. And this is good. So now that the OS has been updated, it now lets me update Chrome to a higher version. Not the latest, but it before it said you couldn't update at all. Now it did update a little bit. So that helps. Funny story. I wanted to see if I could install Fortnite. I put on the, uh, the installer and it, it had actually let me install Fortnite, but it wouldn't run it. Every time you click on it, it just crashes. So I don't know if you can or not, but it does let you install it for some reason. The other games, it says not supported. So take that for what you will. So I went ahead to try and just find some more simple games that you can play, maybe more like a 2D type of game. I found this one called Brawlhalla and it works fine. So if you have a game like this, it's fine. It's just those those uh, first person shooters maybe won't work. It is a core two duo. So you know that whatever that might support and it's a 512 megabyte AMD Radeon um, or ATI Radeon, sorry, a GPU. So it, it's capable of some things, but not much. So final thoughts, is this worth $100, which is about what you would expect to pay for it? I purchased this one for a little bit less than that, of course, but most people ask about 150 for these and uh, most of them go for 100 I like it personally, just as a, a regular computer. It's good for just YouTube, email, Facebook, anything that runs in Chrome, not so much for games. I would suggest to you if you were gonna buy one to get the newer 2010 or 11, which has the Core i5 or i7, a bigger GPU and those support up to 16 gigabytes, but those go for about 200. But I would say for a hundred bucks, it's definitely worth it. It's a beautiful display when you sit down at the computer and there's no cables or anything and the keyboard is wireless and the mouse is wireless. It's very nice and it's uh, just at this point, basically a, a work computer and I like it. Unfortunately, I don't have the space to keep it, but if I did, I would. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.